Uh, I am Ibrahim. Uh, I am from Bangladesh and uh, now I am a student of UNIMAP. Uh, nowadays, um, non-Muslim scientists, scientists non-Muslim scholars, even non-Muslim educated people knows the truth that there is a significant uh, relationship between modern science and Quran. But my question is, they accept science but not accept Quran and Islam. Why? But there is a question that the people now know the relationship between Quran and science. They accept science, why they don't accept Quran? I don't think so. Everyone knows. Many know. Not every scientist knows about the relationship of Quran and science. Many know. Out of those who know, some of them, they are guided to the truth. And they accept Islam, like the names I took. I told you Prophet Taqadah Kashan, accepted Islam. And there are hundreds of scientists who accepted Islam. Now many a time when you come to know it's the truth, you may agree to the truth, but yet you may not follow because you may be worried. What will society tell me if I change my religion? What will my parent tell me? What will my wife tell me? So the societal pressure prevents him from accepting the truth. So once you know it's the truth, you have to accept it. But everyone doesn't accept the truth. So this is a test. After hearing the lecture, if a person is a non-Muslim, and if he's a student of science, he has to do research. What kind of book is this? Talking about astronomy, talking about water cycle, talking about geology, about zoology, about biology, about botany, about embryology, about fingerprinting method. You can go on and on. So, a person who is really a seeker of truth and a truthful person, he will be guided to truth. But many people aren't bothered. Okay, now if I accept Islam, then I'll have to stop drinking alcohol. Who wants to accept Islam? If I accept Islam, then I cannot flirt. I cannot do zina, I cannot do adultery. If I accept Islam, I'll have to pray five times a day. So these things may stop them from accepting the truth. But our job as Muslim is to convey the message to non-Muslim. Whether they accept or not, it is the hands of Allah. We as Muslims we have to convey the message. If they accept, Alhamdulillah, don't accept, no problem. We can't force anyone. But at least on the day of judgment, we can give shahada on the day of judgment. I told my friend. Therefore, on the day of judgment, no, no non-Muslim will ever complain to Allah that, why am I non-Muslim? They will only say, give us one more chance. Allah says it's too late. So this world is a test for the hereafter. This world is a test for the hereafter. Once you know the truth, you have to accept it. I tell anyone, if anyone proves to me a religion better than Islam, I will convert today. Ah, <gasps> kafir. I know my religion, alhamdulillah. I know my Islam. I was a Muslim till the age of 20 because my father was a Muslim. After that, I studied many religions. I am a student of comparative religion. I say that anyone can prove to me a religion better than Islam. Anyone shows me a book better than the Quran, I will change my religion. Right or wrong? You don't say that. Huh? Because you are not a student of comparative religion. I am a student of comparative religion. I have read the scriptures. So that is the reason, but those whose hearts are on truth, when they hear, and you find, Alhamdulillah, every day, thousands accepting Islam. Thousands. Only because of Peace TV, hundreds, Alhamdulillah. So pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He give Hidayah guidance for the people to come on the straight path. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Bangladeshi people love you so much. Thank you, Doctor.